Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture is in continuation with the first lecture introduction to biotechnology. Today we are going to discuss some other topics about biotechnology, subfields of biotechnology. There are different subfields of biotechnology, red biotechnology, white biotechnology, green biotechnology and blue biotechnology. So what is red biotechnology? Red biotechnology is also uh, called medical biotechnology which is applied to manufacture of pharmaceuticals like enzymes, antibiotics, vaccines and it's used for molecular diagnostic. However, white biotechnology is also called industrial biotechnology. It is also called uh, gray biotechnology and it is applied to the industrial and production processes which happens at industrial uh, scale and which uh, uh, which uh, we perform in, in industries. There is another uh, field which is called green biotechnology. Green biotechnology is also called agriculture biotechnology or sometimes plant biotechnology also. It is a biotechnology applied to agriculture processes and products. Then there is uh, uh, another uh, field which is called blue biotechnology and blue biotechnology is also called marine biotechnology or aquatic biotechnology and it deals with the marine aquatic applications of biotechnology. What are the branches of biotechnology? There are numerous branches of biotechnology. One of the branch is animal biotechnology in which we deal with the development of transgenic animals for increased milk or meat production with resistance to various diseases or processing or production of materials from animals. Some of the examples of this animal biotechnology is uh, transgenic animals production, knockout uh, technology to generate animals and uh, also cloning technique for the plants and also for the, uh, but uh, this cloning technique is only for the animals uh, because this is animal biotechnology. So in transgenic uh, uh, animals production, uh, we produced, our scientists produced different animals with one or more genes introduced by the human intervention. And in gene knockout technology, uh, some specific genes are inactivated uh, to generate uh, animals. And then another application, one of the application is production of identical animals by somatic cell nuclear transfer which is also called as a cloning and also uh, they can produce production of infertile aquatic species. There are numerous application of animal biotechnology here we are uh, here we have just presented few applications of animal biotechnology. Then there is uh, another branch which is called agriculture biotechnology. It is the uh, use of environment friendly solution is alternative to the traditional agriculture uh, solutions uh, in the agriculture, in industrial agriculture, in horticulture and animal breeding processes are also uh, used in the agriculture biotechnology. And here are some of the examples of green biotechnology like the use of bacteria to facilitate the growth of plants and engineering of plants to express some pesticide like one of the example is Bt cotton in which uh, Bt plants produce some uh, specific proteins and this uh, Bt uh, plant plants are modified uh, using the bacillus thuringiensis genes and then they express those uh, proteins and when insects eat upon these uh, eat upon the leaves of the, these plants so they eventually die and the use of bacteria to assure better crop yields instead of using uh, pesticides and herbicides and the use of plants to remove heavy metals such as lead, nickel, silver which can then be extracted from the plants also. This is uh, an example of uh, phytoremediation also and there are so many uh, examples of genetic manipulation to allow plant streams to be frost resistant to, uh, they can uh, ripen fast, uh, drought resistant and many wheat varieties and rice varieties are uh, produced in which uh, they are resistant to uh, uh, harsh conditions also and they can uh, produce high yield and the use of genes from soil bacteria to genetically alter plants to promote tolerance to the fungal pathogens. 
uh, also they can be used uh, the bacteria can be used to help the plants grow faster resist fast and ripen earlier one of the important branch of biotechnology is medical biotechnology uh, in medical biotechnology different diseases are treated different diagnostic methods are introduced in large scale production of drugs hormones such as human insulin and interferon and vaccines are produced it also include the designing of organisms to manufacture pharmaceutical products such as therapeutic proteins antibiotics insulin gene therapy regenerative medicines etc and biotechnology uh, medical biotechnology is sometimes also uh, uh, used uh, in the forensic through the dna profiling also what is industrial biotechnology industrial biotechnology is also known as wide biotechnology and it is the application of biotechnology for the industrial purposes such as production of biomolecules beverages fermented foods biomaterials etc and it also include the practice of using cells or components of cells such as enzymes to generate industrially useful products it uses living cells from fungus bacteria and plants and also it helps in the uh, enzyme uh, synthesized products that are easily degradable which require less energy which create less waste during the production there are so many other examples like uh, yogurt production cheese production citric acid production ethanol production at industrial scales in industries and some other examples include the designing of an organism to produce useful chemicals and the use of enzymes as industrial catalysts to either produce valuable chemicals or destroy hazardous polluting chemicals another branch of uh, biotechnology is uh, environmental biotechnology in which uh, uh, environmental biotechnology deals with the use of living organisms for a wide variety of applications in hazardous waste treatment and polluting uh, pollution prevention and some of the examples include bioremediation microbial biocomposting microbial bioinsecticides biomining biofertilizers bioenergy production uh, from biological waste so in bioremediation uh, we use uh, scientists use different microbial cells are uh, they also use plants uh, to treat uh, different waste and uh, different microorganisms can be used in bioreactors also for the treatment of uh, different waste in microbial biocomposting vegetable waste or some fruit waste are uh, used as a organic material and because of the microbial processes they are converted into some usable product which is called compost and this compost product can be used for the plants growth also and there is another uh, product which is produced like microbial bioinsecticides are produced one of the example is bt uh, cotton and another uh, example of environmental biotechnology is biomining biofertilizers production and uh, bioenergy production from bio, uh, biological waste like uh, bioethanol production biobutanol production biomethane production etc another important branch is marine biotechnology which deals with the creation of the products and processes from marine organisms through the application of biotechnology molecular and cell biology and also bioinformatics and it is the uh, field uh, which deals with the ocean exploration for development of new pharmaceutical drugs chemical products enzymes and other products and processes it also deals with the advancement of agriculture and uh, seafood safety and bioremediation and biofuels etc there are so many other examples like aquaculture production of uh, high yield of uh, different fish etc why biotechnology is called multidisciplinary science so for this uh, we can get a better handle on the meaning of the word biotechnology by simply changing the singular noun to its plural form biotechnologies because 
biotechnology is a collection of technologies there are so many technologies used in biotechnology like biochemistry molecular biology microbiology biochemical engineering techniques are used in biotechnology that is why it is called collection of technologies and biotechnology is a multidisciplinary in its development applications because uh, to solve some time to solve a problem we have to use so many different techniques like uh, techniques of biochemistry techniques of microbiology techniques of uh, molecular biology engineering techniques to solve a particular problem so biotechnology is an emerging science it is referred to as a link between the biological science physical sciences chemical sciences and technological achievement that is why it is known as a clever science of biology and the advances in the field of biotechnology have influenced many areas of applied sciences so here we understand that why it is called multidisciplinary science interdisciplinary pursuit because to solve a problem biotechnology utilizes different techniques diverse techniques from different sciences like from uh, biochemistry from engineering from many other fields to solve a problem that is why it is called multidisciplinary science and that is why it is also called a clever science of biology there are many emerging fields of biotechnology like nanobiotechnology bioinformatics pharmacogenomics and many other which we will discuss one by one what is nanobiotechnology it is the branch of uh, technology branch of biotechnology which uh, in which uh, biological and biochemical applications are used and at nano scale nano materials are used for different application it also studies the existing elements in nature to develop new devices then uh, one of the emerging field is bioinformatics which is uh, growing uh, every day and it is an interdisciplinary field that addresses biological problems by using some computational techniques and for example uh, for DS DNA sequence analysis for primer designing for the structure analysis uh, they are using so many uh, new computational techniques and it makes possible the rapid organization and analysis of biological data then there is another technique uh, uh, emerging science which is called pharmacogenomics and in pharmacogenomics uh, they deal with the uh, influence of genetic variation on drug response in patients by correlating the gene expression or single nucleotide polymorphisms with a drug's efficacy or toxicity in this emerging field. Regenerative medicine is the study and development of artificial organs, uh, specially grown tissues and cells including stem cells or laboratory made compounds and combinations of these approaches for the treatment of injuries and diseases there is uh, another emerging field which is therapeutic proteins uh, they are proteins that are either manufactured using genetically engineering or by extracting proteins from the human cells are engineered in the laboratory for the pharmaceutical use Another emerging field is uh, biorobotics. Biorobotics is often used to denote a real subfield of robotics. And in biorobotics, uh, studying how to make robots that simulate living biological organisms, body tissues, or body parts. Another important uh, emerging field is biomimetics. In biomimetics, uh, is also the simulation of the systems and elements of nature for the purpose of solving complex human problems and in bio uh, mimetics is inspired by biological solutions at macro and nano scales which allow humans to look at nature for finding out answers here are some applications of uh, biotechnology uh, biotechnology uh, can uh, have so many diverse applications like uh, in medical biotechnology it can be used for the diagnostic therapeutic vaccines and so many other applications like antibiotics etc can be used 
then uh, there is another field uh, in which biotechnology or applications in agriculture biotechnology plant agriculture in farms in the food processing for the better varieties production etc one of the important uh, field in which biotechnology have tremendous application that is environmental biotechnology like uh, for bioremediation for biofertilizers production bio sensors production for the monitoring of different pollutants etc by insecticides production wastewater treatment etc and then uh, there is another uh, field industrial biotechnology in industrial biotechnology they can produce energies uh, they can produce new materials enzymes production at commercial scale by detergents etc then uh, it can be used in forensic biotechnology also for paternity testing for the scientific investigations etc also scope and importance of biotechnology uh, biotechnology have tremendous scope in so many fields and its important role is in employment in production and productivity trade economy human health and the quality of human life through the throughout the world and uh, biotechnology is uh, involved in so many companies also throughout the world which is increasing day by day and uh, uh, Bill Gates is also investing in many biotechnology companies also and they have so many uh, applications in dairy, animal husbandry, fisheries, agriculture, crimes, medicines, etc. Importance of biotechnology is in so many fields, in diagnostic fields, in the food areas, in environment, in equipment, in chemicals, in agriculture, in pharmaceutical industries, uh, in diagnostic clinical testing and diagnostic food environment and agriculture sector and wide range of food products uh, fertilizer beverages ingredients etc are to use and also in the environment uh, for the wastewater treatment for the bioremediation and energy production in environment they can be used for the waste treatment for bioremediation and for the bioenergy production and in equipment by reactors, hardware, software and other instruments can be produced. Many chemicals can be produced like enzyme DNA, RNA probe and many other chemicals and novel crops, animal varieties and biopesticides can be produced and biopharmaceuticals can be produced for the cure or control of human diseases including antibiotics, vaccine, insulin and, for, uh, and many other products. Uh, so this was all about uh, the introduction of biotechnology uh, with this topic our first uh, topic introduction to biotechnology is 